Hey guys, good morning. Nice to see my Pilates peeps. It always makes me so happy to, to see you guys. Uh, my name is Lisa Bett. I'm your instructor. You're in a Pilates inspired fitness class. And for props today, we're going to use a dish towel and dumbbells. So uh, let's go ahead and get this party started. Dish towel in hand. So let's take the dish towel and we'll just open it up. <laughs> I feel like I'm waving the, the white flag. I surrender. Anyways, um, just open it up, hold on to each side, and then let's uh, chalk our hands together so the grasp is just directly. Uh, it's about hip width or shoulder width apart. And then guys, from here, palms facing down, just lift, lower, lift, lower, and continue. So just simple move here. This move will begin to warm up your body. And I'd like to take this opportunity, as always, to request of you to keep your workout with me today pain-free. So comfortably uncomfortable is all right, but pain is not. So anytime you're feeling stabbing pain, shooting pain, joint pain, structural pain, anything like that, please immediately stop what you're doing and do something different so those feelings go away. I want you to feel better after class, not worse, and I need your help with that. All right, guys, begin to gently pull the towel apart. And notice how in holding some of those muscles in that isometric contraction, while other muscles are going through a range of motion, you have a different sensation of lifting and lowering the arms. Maybe it went from like a, oh, I don't know, a three to a seven pretty quickly. So uh, using that mind-body connection to make the exercise more challenging than it needs to be. All right, guys, next time you have a knee lifted, pause, reach those arms overhead. Let's lean to one side, up to center, over to the other, up to center, continue alternating. Try to keep your head in the middle of the arms the whole time for three and two. And one, come to center, put that foot down, keep those arms up. Other knee and tabletop, lean to one side, up to center, over to the other, and continue. Drop those shoulders down and breathe. Whoop! Balance challenge for two. And one, keep that knee in tabletop, guys. And then let whatever knee you have in tabletop, that same hand on the same side of the body, just go ahead and uh, let that towel hang long. Other hand on the hip. And then begin to twirl. Uh-huh. Twirling that towel. Uh-huh. And breathe. Notice how you're feeling a lot of muscles in the arm that's moving through space and in the opposite leg, which are those muscles stabilizing you. And pause and then twirl in the other direction. Woo! <laughs> And breathe. Wow, some of you look like you uh, may have been in flags in your earlier years, looking quite graceful. For two and one, put that foot down. Nice job. All right, swing those arms from side to side. For two and one, and come to center. All right, let's take that towel, bring it over into the other hand, other knee and tabletop. And then let's commence the twirling. Uh huh. And breathe, navel tuck to the spine, shoulders down and back. Yep, you guys are making this look pretty easy. Loving it. Three and two, and pause. And then reverse the twirling. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, but on my screen, my uh, the picture of me is, is glitching. So it's like slows down a lot and then it, it speeds up really, really fast. It looks pretty funny. <laughs> All right, but you're, you guys are not doing that. So that's kind of curious. Oh, well, for three and two and one, both feet down. Nice job. Let's take this towel and we'll reach it behind. Palms facing up and then walk those hands uh, closer to each other. And then guys, from here, I want you to roll those shoulders back, maybe straighten those arms if that's available for you, and then reach those arms back behind. So what I'm interested in is arms are lifted behind you, arms are straight, and, uh, and the hands are close together. They don't need to be all the way together. And then I want you just to energetically pull the towel apart with your hands. 
while you're maintaining this position, can you commit to that greater sensation of that heart opening stretch going on, lifting those arms behind you? Yeah, so big isometric contraction. By the way, so this is what we're doing now is the opposite of uh, that forward leaning posture. So uh, we're stretching the muscles in the front of the chest while strengthening the muscles in the back, which will make that more accurate posture, more available and you are breathing and holding. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're doing much. I don't know about you guys, but I'm shaking. Are you shaking too? Yeah, uh-huh. And breathe for four, three, two, and, and one, and release. Wow, yeah, so just notice that sensation. Bring those shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down. And one more time, up, back and down. All right, then let's grab that towel. So we'll come into exactly the same thing we were doing a moment ago. So, uh, so we'll uh, reach those arms back behind and then roll those shoulders back and lift those arms. Yep, and breathe and hold. Yep, finding that really, really terrific and awesome posture. I love, I love looking in your guys' uh, uh, living rooms when you're... Uh, training with me. That sounds kind of creepy. <laughs> Didn't mean that in a creepy way at all. Anyways, I just love being with you and uh, being part of each other's reality. <laughs> all right, guys, breathing and holding for four and three, two, woo, and release. Again, notice how you're feeling that really uh, stretch across your maybe like a sense of looseness and bring those shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down, and up, back and down. All right, hold that towel straight out in front of you. Uh-huh, let's bring it so it's directly in front of the shoulders and then energetically tear it apart. Energetically tearing that towel apart. Notice the muscles that you are feeling. We're activating the muscles that we just stretched right across here. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. All right, guys, and then from here, let's kick one foot back, reach those arms overhead, still pulling that towel apart, arms forward and switch and switch and continue. Yeah, as you reach those arms overhead, see if you can imagine that you're, um, uh, well, drop the shoulders down. So there's like an opposition going on. Yeah, it's almost like you, you have super heavy dumbbells in your hands and they're just pressing your shoulders down towards the earth. Woo, yeah, so still pulling that towel apart, still feeling those muscles right across the chest in addition to a bunch of other muscles for three and two. And the next time you have a leg back, it doesn't matter which one, pause. All right, guys, then we'll release the arms, place the hands on the hips. We'll add arms back in in a moment if you wish. But for now, I want you to balance on your standing leg, lift that rear leg behind you and come into a straight line from your heel to your tush to your waist to your shoulders, to your head, a straight line-ish. If that's not available to you, that's okay. Uh-huh, I don't think it's quite available to me today, but balancing and then guys, adding in arms. If you wish, you can reach one arm forward. Uh-huh, and if you wish, you can reach both arms forward, which I'm not going to do. You can also place your hands on your hips and keep them there, or you can also, <laughs> So lots of options. You can also reach both arms back towards your hips, palms facing in. So lots and lots of options. And we're just balancing. Uh huh. And we're starting to feel all that warmth and work in that stabilizing leg. Woo, yeah, kind of an interesting sensation, a slow burn in that leg. Doesn't start off as much, but suddenly it's, uh, it's starting to feel more. Kind of reminds me of like a, a deep groundswell kind of building as opposed to just a little bit of, oh, sorry, surfer lingo, a little bit of chop on the surface of the ocean. Anyways, breathing for three and two and one and come to center. Wow, really feeling that back there, even though those muscles weren't moving. So that's pretty cool, right? Okay, so you just had one leg back in space. Um, let's kick the other leg back in space. All right, and we can start with the hands on the hips and lean forward. Finding that long straight line. If you wish, you can reach one arm forward, maybe both arms forward or not, or you can place the hands on the hips or 
you can uh, reach those arms back behind and breathe and balance. Try to create as much space and length as you can between that rear heel and the tip of your head or your fingertips if you have your arms reaching forward. Woo, and breathe. Yeah, looking so good. Ah, again, slow burn. Doesn't feel like much to start with, but I bet you're starting to feel it a lot now. And if you um, activate your muscles in your standing leg even more, you can feel this even more, really sculpting those muscles with that slow burn and this isometric contraction and this balance and breathe for four. Looking good, and three, and two, and one, and Woo, come to center. Yeah, I know, I'm feeling it too. All right, guys, let's come into our Pilates V. We'll just have the towel, uh, let's just keep the towel in the right hand for now. Okay, and then we'll bend the knees, lift one heel, lower, lift the other heel, lower, lift the first heel, keep it there. Can you lift it higher? Keep it there. And then keeping that heel as high as possible also, Lift the other heel as high as possible. All right, so balancing. Drag queen stilettos, super high on those tippy toes. Heels lifted really a lot. And then let's begin to twirl the towel. This time, let's keep the elbow tucked in tight to the waist. Can you lift those heels even higher? Woo, uh-huh, and breathe. For three, looking good, and two, and keep those heels lifted, and let's begin to twirl that towel in the other direction. By the way, you're squeezing that elbow into the waist, so your muscles are active in an isometric contraction as you squeeze the uh, upper arm into the torso, and then also there are muscles which are moving. So what's going on here? If you if you can balance and place your fingertips over on your shoulder and your upper arm, you will feel a lot going on. So, so that's kind of cool. Woo, woo, <laughs> well, we kind of did that at the same time. And breathe. All right, for three and two. Okay, keep those heels super lifted, guys. Let's hold that towel out in front of us. Uh-huh, and then lower and lift, lower and lift. So little ranges of motion and breathe. Energetically pull that towel apart, lift those heels higher. You should feel ah, balance challenge for sure. Also, we got we have a lot of quadriceps going on. We have adductor, those are the inner thigh muscles. We've got booty, we've got core because those muscles are working. I want you to imagine that your arms are floating in space, but it's kind of hard for them to float. So it's like you're pressing down, almost like you don't want them to float, but you can't resist it. So in other words, those muscles are active as you're holding that towel straight out in front of you. I know this is a super long set. It is on purpose. And you are breathing for four, woo, and three, two, and one, all the way up, both feet down. Oh my gosh, yeah, I, I feel that too. Well done. All right, guys, swing those arms from side to side. <sighs> For two, and one, you guessed it, Pilates V. And the knees, lift one heel, lower, other heel, lower. We'll just go through this range of motion for a moment just to kind of give the body a chance to reset. And then guys, the next time a heel is lifted, keep it lifted. Also lift the other heel. Come down a little bit lower, good. And then let's take the towel over to the left hand or the other hand, and then tucking the elbow into the waist, begin to twirl. Uh-huh, breathe. Hollow out that belly, squeezing that armpit closed. Looking so good. <laughs> yeah, it's like if you're hot, you have an automatic fan built into the exercise. <laughs> All right, guys. And then pause and twirl in the other direction. Woo. Yeah, squeezing that armpit closed. And notice how those muscles are really working. 
and breathe. All right, guys, let's keep those heels lifted. And this time we'll take the towel and we'll keep it in the left hand, reach it up to the ceiling and then reach it back behind. And then grab onto the towel with the other hand and walk those fingertips closer together. All right, can you lift those heels higher? So you should be feeling uh, maybe some shaking going on in those thighs, multitasking, feeling a nice stretch in that upper body. Can you lift those heels higher for four? And three, two, and one, come up to standing. Nice job. All right, guys, let's take the towel over into the other hand, reach it overhead, and then drop it back behind. Go ahead and grab onto that with the opposite hand. Walk those fingers a little closer together. Take a step apart with those feet. So I want you feeling a nice stretch in the, um, in the upper body. And then for the lower body, a step apart with those feet, we'll bend the knees. And yeah, we're not done with this one yet. Lift one heel and lift the other heel. Yeah, and then lower and lift and lower and lift. Woo, and notice how we're working, um, how, how the work feels slightly different with the feet more separated. So just targeting a slightly different uh, area of the muscles, breathing, hollering out that belly. Can you lift those heels higher? Woo. For four and three and two Woo. and one. Come all the way up to center. Nice job. All right, guys, then let's take this towel and drop it. Grab your dumbbells. Okay, dumbbells in hand, arms in goal post. One knee in tabletop, arms overhead and switch and switch and switch and continue. All right, guys, so we're coming into a little cardio blast here. If you wish, you can continue with this move. I always like to start with this move because it shows you that you do not need to do a bouncing thing to get that heart rate up. That said, if you'd like to do a bouncy thing, you can. What you might ask? Well, <laughs> suddenly I'm the only one on my screen. All my students are off uh, running the stairs, I believe. So you can uh, run the stairs. You can do burpees. You can just go dance. You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, so the idea here, guys, is just to take a moment of free movement just moving your body. The goal is to get that heart rate up just a little bit. It doesn't have to come up enormously. Although if you want to, that, that's certainly fine. But if that's not your cup of tea, that's okay. You can just move uh, a little bit more slowly through space, whatever feels good. So, um, but I want the heart rate to come up just a little bit. Well, let me say that differently. So heart rate can come up just a little bit, or if you want more, but at least just a little bit. And if, when it's up just a little bit, you're actually in that magic fat burning zone when it's just a little difficult to talk in complete sentences, or it would be a little difficult to whistle happy birthday or you know something along those lines. Um, that's when you're in that really magical fat burning zone. So that's kind of cool. Uh-huh. And breathe. Yeah, loving those moves. <laughs> those are like 50s moves there. I love it. That would be fun to do like a 50s dance class, wouldn't it? All right. And breathe. <laughs> Hitting equipment. Yeah, loving it. Just moving through space. I love seeing you guys running in circles through my screen and breathe. Yeah, all right. So we'll go for just a little bit longer here. Loving it. So some of you have told me that uh, since we've been, uh, we'll go for another little bit if you wanna run the stairs again and she's off. Uh, some of you have told me that, uh, you know, particularly with this uh, COVID thing that maybe you, didn't get outside for a long time to do stuff, or uh, perhaps you saw friends for, um, but anyways, but what I'm trying to say is uh, that you went for a hike or something with friends and it had been a while since you had gone for a hike and you were astounded at your stamina 
even though you hadn't done it for a long time. And um, yeah, so what we're doing now does lend to increasing the stamina for, for other activities. All right, guys, for four, loving it, and three, and two, and one, and find stillness and swing those arms from side to side. Notice how your body feels. Hopefully it feels pretty good. What a nice gift to give yourself. So notice if you're feeling that increased sense of urgency to breathe, that is awesome. For two, and one, and come to center. All right, guys, next we're going to take this down to the mat. So keep those dumbbells nearby, keep that towel nearby, and we'll come directly into a lying down position. So lying down, oh, open those arms to a T, palms facing up, take a step apart with the, those feet, and windshield wiper those knees from side to side. Just go for that really terrific stretch. Oh, yeah, and notice if you're still feeling your heart rate increased a little bit. So that's always, that's such a cool thing. <laughs> All right, guys, windshield wipering those knees from side to side, feeling that terrific stretch in the midsection. All right, and the next time those knees are over to the right, pause. Knees are over to the right, place the fingertips behind the head. <sighs> and just hang out here for a moment in stillness and allow that top left quadriceps to settle into the stretch. And also notice the terrific stretch you're feeling in the left shoulder area as you're allowing those arms to melt into the mat. Feeling heavy in the mat, feeling that nice release. And breathe for three and two and one. And then pivot those knees to center. And then just little tiny swishes from side to side. Yeah, just putting the weight on your right booty cheek and then your left. Yeah, and just take that sensation. As you're doing this, begin to press those feet into the mat. Uh-huh, so it looks like we're super just chilling out, not doing anything. But if you're really pressing the feet into the mat, you'll feel this quite a bit in the back of the legs and the hamstring area and the booty. Woo, yeah, curiously, that's a lot of work for four and three, two, and release that. And then guys, let's drop the knees over to the left. Oh, yeah, and just feel that stretch, feel uh, in, in both that quadriceps and that shoulder area. And uh, enjoying that twisty sensation in the midsection. Woo. For three and two. All right, let's come back to center. Okay, next we'll reach the arms down towards the hips and let's pivot those palms so they're facing up. Knees bent, feet flat, head stays down, knuckles, fingernails down to the ground, palms facing up. Okay. Keep your head down, take an inhale, exhale, just press into your feet, covering the hips, just, just enough that you can slide like a little magazine underneath the hips, but not much else. Okay, and then, so what I want you to notice here is how this feels in your body, and then I want you to hover all 10 toes. So we're not coming on to the tippy toes, in fact, we're doing the opposite. We're putting the weight into the heels. Then I want you to lift those toes up towards the ceiling so much, so the balls of your feet and your heels are touching the mat, but maybe depending on the anatomy of your feet, the arches are not. So I'm interested in some stretching going on in the soles of the feet. Okay, then, so hips are just hovering, head is down. Then I want you to take all 10 toes and reach them down onto the ground, separating them as much as possible. And then I want you to bend your toes and bring them in towards the balls of your feet and then lift the toes up to the ceiling and reach out and then bend the toes in. Okay, so 
What I'm really interested in is a circular motion of those toes, just getting a lot of flexibility and movement in the joints, in the toes, uh, the phalanges, phalanges, forget how you pronounce it. Um, but anyways, so another way to cue for this, guys, is if you think that you're like on, a, on a, a thin, loose blanket under your feet, and you're going to reach forward and grab onto the blanket with the toes as far forward as possible, and then pull it towards you and make that blanket crease as you bend the toes towards you. Yeah, so that's kind of an obscure cue. But if that's meaningful for you, that's what I'm interested in. And notice how you're feeling the, uh, the toes get a little tired. Yeah, and a little toe massage for three and two and one. All right, guys, let's press the toes into the mat. Hips are still lifted just a tiny amount. And then let's lift one heel and lower, other heel and lower. Do it again, begin to squeeze those booty cheeks a lot. See if you can make this movement as hard as possible. Right, so you could just lie here and flap those heels around, but slow it down and make it super hard. Squeeze those booty cheeks. Pretend like you're trying to show off all your muscles as you're going through this range of motion by activating them. Woo! Yeah, so uh, not much movement going on here, but a lot uh, of internal feelings going on. Woo! For three and two. All right, guys, and then let's lift both heels. Beautiful, both heels are lifted. Okay, what's going on with those arms? Let's recommit to the fingernails and the knuckles pressing into the mat and uh, palms facing up. Okay, tippy toes, take an inhale, exhale, lift those hips higher, inhale, lower and tap and lift and do it again and continue. So my range of motion is kind of tiny. Uh, if yours is greater and that feels good, go for it. Woo! Yeah, squeezing that backside. Again, not a huge movement here, but really feeling this a lot. And I suspect that I will be feeling this for the next couple of days a lot. Woo, and breathe for three and two. And the next time those hips are in the lifted position, pause. All right, guys, then heels still lifted. Open and close those knees. Open and close, open and close. Now, I know that you can open and close and not think much of it, but I want you to imagine it's really hard to open and really hard to close and do it again. So you're taking a bunch of your muscles and holding them woo, in an isometric contraction while you're going through this range of motion. So there's a lot going on. And breathe. Wait for that perky booty for four woo, and three. Woo, did I mention, woo, and two, and one, and lower that booty all the way down. Oh, oh my gosh, and lower um, everything down. Open those arms to a T, take a step apart with those feet, windshield wiper those knees from side to side. Yeah, that felt really good. Hey, you can thank me uh, <laughs> when, you, when you notice that suddenly your booty is quite perky for two, and one and come to center. All right, guys, next, let's take the left ankle, cross it over the right knee. Arms open to a T. And then, uh, so left ankle over the right knee, take that left knee over to the right, across the body, down towards the mat. If you wish, you can take your right fingertips up, place them on your left knee gently, pull it down towards the ground, and then try to keep that left shoulder blade down. And if you wish, you can look over those left fingertips. So this is just a big uh, feel good stretch moment here. Um, and remember any modification is fine, or if there's a different stretch that would feel better for you, you can, you can do that one instead. Oh. Yep, and breathe for three and two. And one, and then let's come back to center. Keep that left ankle crossed over the right knee. Place the fingertips behind your head. Keep the left elbow down. Take an inhale as you exhale, bring the right elbow up to the left knee. Inhale, lower, exhale, crunch. So we're coming into an oblique crunch situation. 
Now, as you're doing this, I want you to imagine that you are trying to bring your elbow towards your knee, yet at the same time, oddly, the elbow is repelled by the knee. Uh huh. So what I'm interested in here, guys, is the twist happening from the midsection and the waist instead of elbows flapping through space. All right, if you want more, maybe hover the right foot above the mat. I'm not going to take that option, but if you wish, you are welcome to. Let's keep that left elbow down on the ground. Apply a gentle amount of pressure from your head into your hand to get the work out of the neck. Woo! Yeah, that's a perky booty, tiny waist. Breathing for four and three two, and one, lower down. Nice job, guys. Then let's uncross the left ankle and cross the right ankle over the left knee. Open those arms to a T and drop that knee. Cross your body over to the left. Maybe reach the right arm out to the right. You can gently apply pressure from your knee towards the ground. Ooh. And breathe, just feeling that terrific and well deserved stretch. Ooh. So good. I'm always astounded. It's such a gift, guys, just to be able to move our bodies. I know I've, I've talked about this quite a bit, but um, they say that health is a negative gratitude. That means that. When you uh, don't have it, that's all you want. <laughs> and when you do have it, we don't think that much of it. And uh, I guess it's kind of normal. It's kind of like a new car at first, it's super exciting, and then you kind of don't think about it anymore. But um, yeah, just tuning into the idea that it is such a cool thing to, to be able to move our bodies and have that, that gratitude is special. Okay, guys, let's come back to center. Keep that ankle crossed over the knee, and then Place those fingertips behind your head. Okay, keeping the right elbow down, take an inhale, exhale, bring that left elbow towards the right knee and lower and lift and lower and continue. Woo, and breathe. And again, as you're twisting up, try to um, keep that elbow far away from the knee, even though it's like you're trying to bring the elbow to the knee. Oh. And if you wish, you can hover those left toes or not. It's entirely up to you. And you are breathing. Notice if the work's getting into your neck, if it is purposefully prevent that by applying uh, pressure from your head into your hands, different than applying pressure from your hands into your head. Ooh, for two and one, come back to center, both feet flat. Take a step apart with those feet and windshield wiper those knees from side to side. <sighs> for two and one, and come to center. All right, guys, remember those dumbbells that we put down near us? Let's go ahead and grab those. And then we'll reach those arms into a goal post position. That means the elbows are directly out from the shoulders, arms are bent in a 90 degree angle. Bring one knee into tabletop and the other knee into tabletop. Okay, let's kick one leg long, opposite arm up to the ceiling and switch and switch and switch and continue. This doesn't feel good to me guys, so I'm gonna modify. If that feels good to you, continue doing that. And you can add in a crunch with your head, neck, and torso if you wish. Not necessary, but it is an option. <laughs> yep, or any, any other movement is okay as well. So remember, modifications are awesome in my class. So modify, modify, modify. Take care of your sweet bodies. All right, guys, breathing for four, loving the variations I'm seeing, and three, and two, and one, come back to center. Okay, then let's reach those arms up to the ceiling, palms facing each other with a softness in the elbows. Okay, and then guys, let's come into our Pilates V with the heels on the mat. Okay, so heels are down, 
down, toes are lifted, knees are a little separated, heels are together, feet look like a slice of pizza. Take an inhale, exhale, slide one leg long, opening those arms out to the sides, bring that knee, heel back, heels back together, hug the tree, and do it again and continue. So if I've lost you, we are kicking one leg out, opening the arms to the side, and then bringing both feet back in and doing it again. Okay and breathe. Now, maybe if you want more, you can slide both heels out at the same time and bend both knees, bringing them in as you hug a tree and do it again. And you can apply less pressure between your heels and the mat, or you can hover those heels entirely. You can add in a crunch if you wish or not. So lots and lots of options, guys. Just choose the, the version which is best for you today. Woo, and breathe. Yeah, so I'm going with the, the, uh, the earliest version of the exercise, feeling this quite a bit. By the way, you can feel this quite a bit with the early versions, recruiting those muscles to a greater degree for four and three, two, and one. Lower those elbows down. Okay, nice drop. So elbows are down, arms are bent in a 90 degree angle. Uh, dumbbells facing each other over your midsection. Okay, squeeze those armpits closed. Uh, if it's available, come into a crunch position with your head, neck, and torso and bring those knees into tabletop. And then let's straighten one elbow, kick the opposite leg long and switch and switch and switch and continue. So we're coming into a bicycling situation with alternating biceps curls, coming into hammer curls such that the palms are facing in towards the body. Maybe you're in a crunch, maybe you're not. Maybe you'd like to hover those elbows above the mat. That will make this quite a bit harder. Woo, and breathe. Yeah, and remember, any modification at any time is okay. <laughs> yeah, again, loving the variations and breathing for four and three and two and one, both feet down, arms down, head down. Nice job, guys. Now let's just swish those knees from side to side, taking that booty and massage on those muscles that we worked quite a bit today. Should feel pretty good for three and two and one and come back to center. All right, guys, next, set the dumbbells to the side, and then let's just roll over onto the side. So come to a sideline position, and we'll bring those knees straight out in front of the hips. All right, hollow out that belly. Navel is tucked in the spine, going for that super tiny little waist. Let's Lift those ankles, place your hands on your waist, and then I want you to press your thumb into uh, your waist in the back and fan your fingers around and, and dig your fingers in too. Uh, so in, in other words, you're kind of squeezing your midsection and then lower and lift, lower and lift and continue. So maybe you're not feeling much. Begin to exhale audibly as you lift. and slow down your movement. And notice how this goes from a two to a seven really quickly. Can you guys feel the difference? Yeah, pretty remarkable, right? So that's a fabulous example of that mind-body connection. That's why uh, some people in Pilates, some Pilates practitioners believe that the more advanced you become in your Pilates practice, the less resistance you use because you're recruiting your own muscles for your own resistance. So that's a really good example of that. All right, guys, breathing. And the next time those ankles are lifted, pause. Good, let's just focus on that breath. Inhale, exhale, blow it out loudly. Really, really feel those muscles. Inhale, blow it out and cinch those muscles tight and do it again. And continue. And notice how you're even feeling the muscles under your thumbs active. So that core goes all the way around your spine. Ankles are still lifted. You should be feeling some work in that booty area too. Again, looks like we're not doing anything but quite a bit 
going on for three and two. All right, guys, let's keep those uh, ankles lifted and then open that top knee and close and do it again and continue. And again, imagine that there's some force really trying to prevent you from lifting and some force really trying to prevent you from lowering. In other words, this is super hard and notice how it becomes super hard. Yeah, again, using that mind-body connection, still turning this into a core exercise using that breath, Woo! really feeling a lot. Breathing for four and three, Woo! two, and the next time that knee is lifted, keep it lifted. All right, let's bring that knee in towards the chin. Kick it long, in towards the chin. Kick it long, uh-huh, and continue. And then adding on, the next time that leg is long, reach that top arm up, bring the knee towards the hip, and do it again. Still keeping that bottom uh, knee, ankle lifted. Woo, breathing. Yeah, notice how you're feeling all this warmth in here. That's on purpose, going for that tiny waist. I wasn't joking. For four, whoo, and three, and two, and one, and lower down. Nice job. I know, I'm feeling it too. Let's reach both arms forward. Take that top hand up and over. Maybe look back over those far fingertips. Again, coming into this side body stretch. <sighs> For three and two and one. Good. And come back to center. And then, guys, let's roll over onto our bellies. We'll place those elbows under the shoulders. Trying to get all of me in the screen, it's quite hard. All right, and then energetically draw those elbows towards your hips using that as leverage to press your, or uh, reach that chest forward. Woo, feeling a stretch in that abdominal area, creating, using that uh, elbows as leverage to create space and length in your spine, just feeling that really nice stretch. For three, and two and one tuck those toes underneath you take an inhale as you exhale hover the knees coming into a forearm plank all right think about a straight line from your heels to your tush to your waist to your shoulders to your head elbows are in fact under the shoulders and then dip the left hip center right hip center continue alternating from side to side, little hip ticks. <laughs> and breathe for four and three and two and one. Lower down. Oh, nice job, guys. Okay, let's pivot over and come to a side line position on the other side. And we will start with those knees <clears throat> straight out in front of the hips. All right. And then let's place the hand onto the waist. Take an inhale as you exhale, blow it out. Feel these muscles pop away, come to your fingertips. And then let's begin to lower and lift, lower and lift. Now we did this quite slowly on the other side, building up to find that core connection. So I want you to see, without walking you through it, if you can find the core connection on this side. Yep, looking good, loving the concentration. I can tell you guys are really working on that. Woo. Yeah, it's so cool to feel those muscles pop awake under your fingertips. All right, breathing. Really feeling that in this area too. You're welcome. Woo! For four and three. Woo! Two. And the next time those ankles are super lifted, pause. We'll just take the static hold for a moment. Use that breath. 
Really feel the core, tightening that core. And then take an inhale as you exhale, open that top knee and lower and open. And continue again, just using your mind body connection to make this way more difficult than it needs to be. Oh. Yep, and breathe. Man, I tell you guys, time flies when you're having fun. <sighs> again, this session just, they, these sessions go by so fast. All right, guys, for three and two, and the next time the knee is open, pause. Let's kick that leg long, bring the knee in, kick it long. Bring it in, keep that core connection, and then we'll add in the arms. Where we bring, yeah, mm -hmm. and continue. Woo! Blowing it out, pretend you have your fingertips pressing into your midsection and you want to feel all those muscles popping away. Woo! And notice how, in doing that, those muscles, in fact, pop away. Uh, <laughs> really feeling this a lot. Do I need to? No. Again, that's using that mind-body connection. It's kind of funny. Sometimes people come into Pilates from different uh, exercise disciplines, um, like for example, CrossFit or something like that. And they're like, oh my gosh, Pilates is the easiest thing in the world. And then, um, but it's not, it's just a different, different approach. And I actually thought that when I first came to Pilates, I was like, this is uh, like, give me more springs. I, I can do more than this. And she was like, it's not that you can do, it's that you're making it hard at a lighter spring. I was like, oh, took me a while. For two and one. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm feeling it too. All right, let's reach both arms forward. Take that top arm up and over. And breathe. Just feeling that nice sensation in your body after working. For three and two and one. And then let's roll over onto the belly again. This time we will place the hands under the shoulders. If it feels good, you can press into those hands, lifting your spine, coming into a lot um, a really nice stretch in that back if that feels good for you uh, if not you can stay flat for sure and breathe and then guys let's lower that torso down tuck the toes underneath you take an inhale exhale press into an upright plank position and then reach that booty up towards the ceiling Melting those heels down, space between the ears and the shoulders. Woo! And breathe for three and two. And then walk or hop those feet forward towards your hands to where you are standing on your feet. Head is heavy, not your head. Heck yes, I feel amazing. Shake your head. No, no, no. And then softness in the knees, guys. Head is heavy. Roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Whew. Oh my gosh, coming all the way up. Bring those shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down. One more time, up, back and down. And walk into your Wednesday with your awesome posture. Happy December, first day of December. Thanks for joining me, guys. I always love training with you.